My first big TV break, it was in um, 1994. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, I was in Bloemfontein at some certain hotel. In Bloemfontein, uh, on my birthday, I received this call from a guy called Ben Nomoyi. Ben Nomoyi those days, those years from my 70s. He was a very well-known, well-known director, well-known uh, writer, uh, but he specialized in Makosa dramas. So Upen said to me, I get this call and he's like, I'm calling you from Cape Town. I'm doing this TV drama called Winning. I had known the name. So I'm like, okay, Ati, but it's in his course. I'm like, okay, Uma Mami, Uno Kosa Baka, you know. So he has my three my sisters like when they come to visit, you know, they speak his course, mix in his baka. So I was like, oh, okay. And he said to me, no, don't worry. You know, I'll provide you with a language advisor so that shouldn't be a problem. And I hadn't done a TV at all at the time. And he said to me, but I need you to fly to Cape Town tomorrow. So I'm like, but I'm in Bloemfontein. You don't also enjoy birthday with friends. He's like, but I need you to come to Cape Town tomorrow. So I went to Cape Town and it winning was huge. People still talk about it till today. And then after winning gay, I went back to theater, then backstage. And then we yeah, past many years and many things that you've done. And I love that you still do here. Yeah. Ukapsi, people are going to kill me if I do not ask about Ukapsi. <laughs> Ukapsi, for you, especially who's been in, in this industry for such a long time, and you know what it's like being from Durban. You always have to go to Joburg. How was that transition for you emotionally to get a job where you now can go home? You can work from home. And it's not just a movie that's been shot and it's going to end and you must go back to Joburg. Being mm -hmm. home, to working from home. How was that for you? I was so excited. Eh? Very excited because I hadn't done anything in Durban. Nothing, not even a theater piece. Nothing at all. I hadn't worked in Devon at all. So after so many years, after like 30 years, I get this call from uh, Uzalo Production, Betty, we want you, we need you. Please do come. You know, and I was like, oh my goodness, am I dreaming or what? Because I never thought, you understand? And for me, it was after, because I got married, it was three months after uh, I got married. So now, I had this one problem. How do I tell my husband that? I just decided to sign the contract. We looked at the contract, so with some disagreements, agreements, and then finally, I signed the contract without telling him. I know they were wrong. I had to follow that inner voice. I signed the contract. It took me three days literally to sit him down and say, listen, uh, this just happened uh, for the past three days. I've been doing this. I've been receiving calls, calling people from Devon. There's a show called Uzalo. It didn't take it well, you know? And then I remember I said nothing and just left. He came back later after hours. Wabuya. No. He can't say it over unless he has an azang tand. Ngatila, wabu ya, wati, really? You know, I really trusted you that you could at least sit me down after receiving that first call and talk to me. I'm your husband, goddammit. And I'm, I was like, I know, I know. But you know, now it's too late because should I pay off and say I'm not doing it anymore? They're going to sue me. And I don't think we have that kind of money. These people have money. They want to want to you. Then, same night though, we solved it and it was like, you know what, if it makes you happy, um, then do it. Then do it. So, coming back to Deben, it had other reasons as well. It was a little later, Sengi called, you know what, I really had to come back because I had to finish something that I had started, but I couldn't finish because for any impande, 
Bebeng Bonise somewhere here in Durban. And that place, I had seen it in my dreams, uh, how many years ago? Uh, I think 15 years back. I only saw that place, I was like, oh my God, I know this place. Oh my God, I know this place. I'm like, it, it, it can't be. So I started connecting Zonke Izin, you know, getting this job. I was like, you know what? I saw a man Zamo, Sanpa Wamu, Ulukul Neta, they just knew. Good Ijen Yamizu Hambagan, Jengi Bu, Yengizela. I'm grateful for that again. And Yabong and Sekaya, Gumnant. He called your last way, could he? A call, yeah, call. I call it Shitabu no quatch. Shitabu no quatch, I'm talking to get. Yeah. What is the appeal? I'm going to get your mother. I pay it. Luama and that for you. I said it down. Oh, but I'm good. I was told a chance to see my family once in a while. You, you know, just being home, Jay, just being home, it, it feels so good. It feels mm. so good. Yeah.